Welcome back to Adia TV. I'm your host, Raisa Pascal. What an incredible week we've had here in Portland, Oregon for the 2023 Adia Annual Session and Exhibition. From groundbreaking innovation to renowned speakers on a global stage, here's what your fellow colleagues had to say about their annual session experience. I wanted to come to the annual meeting mainly to support all my friends who were kind of presenting their posters as well as get a chance to know more about kind of what's going on in the education atmosphere, especially in other schools, uh, just because we often focus on our own, but it's nice to see what's going on elsewhere. Speaking with the faculty and the deans from other schools, getting to know their programs a bit better, it often makes you think about what you can bring back to your own school and how you can influence your education a bit more, so that's been kind of the big highlight. We have students from Pritero, we do have dental students, graduates, and faculty who have been part of IDEA for 40, 50 years. So it's just amazing to have everyone all at one place. It takes a lot of effort to organize such an event, bringing everyone together. So thank you for all of those who are behind the scenes. We really appreciate it. We are trying to enjoy every single moment and then benefit from it, educational sessions especially. We enjoy the plenary sessions. They're awesome. Every year when we come, we see more and more. The speaker yesterday was remarkable. I think everybody loved it. I think we're getting a lot of ideas and things to implement in our schools. My experience has been absolutely amazing. I did the ADCFP fellowship program this past year and was able to present my research at my first ever ASEA annual session, so it's definitely a very special moment. The exhibit hall has had the most diverse companies come and I think it inspired a bunch of insightful conversation between all the attendees. And I definitely think that the content that was provided during the programming was not helpful just to students, but to people in education, to people in dentistry in general. So it really was for the vast crowd. I'm coming back because I think the community here made me feel so welcomed and safe and so I'm excited to continue being a part of IDEA. On our final day here in Portland, attendees are finishing the week out strong with some last minute education, networking and exhibit hall explorations. This celebration has brought people together who wanted to be together with something good to think about. What's going to happen with dental education in the next 100 years and celebrate our past, but everything's just gone perfectly so far. As Adia embarks upon its second century as the voice of dental education, the new thinking for the new century steering committee used the annual session as an opportunity to present their process, findings, and recommendations on several identified challenges. We covered three areas of interest. One had to do with collaborative practice and the future of that practice. One had to do with recruitment and retention of faculty. And the last one had to do with leadership development and succession planning. It makes me think about like what my role is to contribute to this moving forward and how to really take the interprofessional pieces and really start implementing it in my practice and with any students that I mentor that come along the way. So I think the future is bright for this. It was well attended, the energy in the room was amazing, and we feel as though now we have something to present to the board of Adia that they can help activate based on those members. We're amplifying voices of our membership, and we're able to address critical issues that will help us take Adia into the next thousand years. In this session, nonprofit HR consultants shared data and major findings from five of the ten categories covered within the inaugural Adia Climate Study. We're trying to get as many voices involved in the process overall, which has been our intent from the, the beginning of the design process, but even still as we're making sense of the findings, trying to decide what pathways to go down, what things to pay attention to, that we're constantly getting feedback from multiple stakeholder groups and making sure that we incorporate that into our decision making as we go forward. Folks seem really enthused and excited to create meaningful change on their campus and to really advance diversity, equity and inclusion on their campuses and across academic dentistry. As we all begin to make our way back home, I hope you'll join me in marking your calendars now for the 2024 ADIA Annual Session and Exhibition in New Orleans, Louisiana from March March 9th through the 12th. I'm really excited about preparing for next year's annual session. Dr. Ana Lopez is going to be chair coming in as soon as this annual session is done and she has an outstanding theme. We're going to be in New Orleans. It's going to be a party celebrating the next century of oral health education. So I'm excited to see everyone to have fun in New Orleans and meet and have a great program. On behalf of Adia, I would like to thank you for joining us in Portland, Oregon and tuning in to our Adia TV recaps. We leave you now with a look at Monday evening's Centennial Celebrations.